Hi, my name is Rich Velotis. I'm the lead pastor of New Life Fellowship Church in Queens, New York City, and the author of The Deeply Formed Life. The verse for today is found in Psalm 18.2, and it says, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. In most Bibles, there is this inscription at the beginning of this psalm that gives context to what the psalmist is writing about. And in this case, it says, Of David, the servant of the Lord, he sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. Reading the psalm reminded me of an infamous day in middle school. Uh, the first Friday of the first week of middle school in Brooklyn, New York, there's something called Freshman Friday. It is a horrific day. Uh, high school students from a nearby area would come over and pummel, beat up middle schoolers on that first Friday. It's absolutely awful. And I remember I got wind of this news of this Freshman Friday. And so when the bell rang at the end of the day, I instinctively did one thing. I ran home as fast as I could into the arms of my father who lived just a couple of blocks away from the school. That was my automatic reaction. There was no other place I was going to go. When I read those words of David, I see something similar. When David found himself in great distress, there was one automatic reaction that he had to run to God. I wonder today, what's your automatic reaction to times of distress? And one thing is clear, where we go in our times of distress reveals the source of our trust. And so where are you going today? Are you running to drugs? Are you running to addictive behaviors? Are you running away from God? The invitation in this psalm is very simple. In your time of great distress, may your automatic reaction be turning to God turning to his word, turning to him in prayer. Why? Because God is our strength. God is the one who can sustain us. God is our shelter. Amen.